sorry about that. My video um, cut off because my phone got too hot all of a sudden. Out of all the times I've been outside in this heat with this phone recording, all of a sudden it overheated when I'm talking about this. That is something else, huh? Ain't nobody in me trying to stop me, I swear. Because I'd be literally outside in the, in the sun itself with the heat on this phone as I'm recording. And y'all seen it multiple times. And all of a sudden the phone just overheated. <laughs> That's really funny. It's amazing when the enemy do things on, on camera because that just proves that you're telling the truth. So you're trying to stop it in any type of way. But anyway, as I was saying, uh, with the sun, because, you know, in the Bible it talks about this, the, uh, the sun and the moon being light. Now, you know, I forgot what I said in the last video, but I'm going to say, you know, they talk about Jesus being as bright as the sun. You know, how could he be as bright as this sun? It didn't say anything, anything about all suns or this and that. It talks about as bright as the sun. So it makes you wonder, you know, what's on the outside is on the outside of the dome, the firmament, which is the same thing, and what is behind this sun? What is giving this light? Where is the light coming from? You have to think about that. If Jesus is made of light himself and he's in heaven, He's in heaven. Where is this light coming from? I'm not telling you that's him. I'm telling you on the outside of this dome is heaven. And that's where he, that's where the Father is and the angels and everything else. They're all made of light. If they're made of light, that's where this light is coming from. That's exactly where the light is coming from. It's coming from heaven itself. Heaven is not up above. That's just light from heaven itself. That's all it is. It's the sky of heaven, but it's bright. Just think about this. Trying to find okay. and let them be for lights, yeah, and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give them light upon the earth, and it was so. And God made two great lights the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. Now the stars are basically lights themselves too. He's basically telling you, along with the sun and the moon, by them, by them being lights, he added, he made the stars also, which are lights, nothing more. They're just lights. That's it. No planets. No suns, just stars made of light. That's why when you look at your telescope, all you see is light. You don't see no ball. You see colors in the light, of course, because of the firmament and with the water and everything above. But that's it. They're just lights. That's light and the moon is light. They're all lights. Or it could be just a projection of stars and the fallen stars and everything like that. Who knows? Um, and God set them in the firmament of the heaven. To give light upon the earth. And to rule over the day and over the night. 
the stars, and to divide the light from the darkness, and God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day, and God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly a moving creature that hath life, and fowl that may fly above the earth and the open firmament of heaven. And God created great wells and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters and the seas, and let the fall multiply on the earth. Y'all have to think about all this stuff that I just read. Y'all know the rest of it. I'm explaining the important, the most important thing in the Bible is how the earth was created because a lot of people don't believe what we tell them that basically you live inside of a firmament that water is above us that's why the sky is blue you know it's crazy because to this very day People don't still people don't even know why the sky is still blue. They don't know why it's blue. They still ask that question to this very day. Or they may not ask anything at all because they don't pay attention anymore. <laughs> Which a lot of people don't. People don't even look up no more, they just look around them. But if you if you look at everything around you, you will look at the world differently. You will look at it as if the Bible, how the Bible explains it. That's how you would look at it. Like I said, everything in the Bible is not false. It's just man has twisted things around in the Bible to confuse people. Because something will, like, certain things won't make sense. Because it, it would be one thing and there would be another thing. That has nothing to do with, with the earth being created, for instance. Because you, I'm pretty sure everybody know that man has gotten to this holy Bible. People know that man has rewritten certain things. They kept the most important things out of here, but they didn't keep everything out. But the most important, the most important thing though, right for right now, that that's in the Bible, that's there, is that how the earth was created. You think the elite don't know how the earth was created? The government, the one that's over this earth, they know. That's why they're trying to get the hell up out of here. They tired of being on this earth. You look at the movie Matrix. Matrix is basically Neo being Jesus, coming back, re uh, resurrection or um, um, reincarnated in into a different person. But it's basically him. And Smith is basically Satan. Now, when you watch the movie, when Smith captures Morpheus, Smith, you know, had him in custody. And Smith was trying to get the codes out of him, but it wasn't working. So he told the agents, the two other agents, to get out of the room. When he told him to do that, he took off his shades and he got serious. He explained how he felt deeply, how he deeply felt about being on this earth. And if you understand what he was saying, you will understand that that's basically Satan talking. That that's how Satan feels about being on this earth. Because he feels he's in prison, which this is prison. Just think about it. He says in the movie that he hates this place he hates this zoo or 
prison, or whatever you want to call it, he can't stand it any longer. That's what he said. This crazy. I remember a lot of it because I, that's my favorite movie. And he said once he has a cold to Zion, he won't have to worry about being on this earth anymore. He'll be free. He wants to be free. He wants to get out of here. He wants to get out of this earth, this dome, this part of heaven because there's way more to heaven than this. Just think about this. When you go when people go to jail, they know what's around them. Before they went to jail, they knew about this earth, right? They seen a lot of things. They know about Chicago, China, stuff like that. They know what's out there. Even though they probably didn't go everywhere, they they been to places, right? And they know there's a lot more out there, right? <laughs> now think about this. They go to jail. Probably for life. Until they die, basically. They can't see the outside world ever again. Just think about that. They can't see the outside world ever again because they're in there for life. I'm giving the life example. Not the 20 years because you can come back and see it again. Satan can't see it no more. That's the difference. People in jail that's in, in jail for life, they can't come back out ever again. So what the how, so just think about how they feel when they're in jail for life and they know it. How would that make them feel? It would drive them crazy. They want to get the heck up out of there, right? They'll try to commit suicide or try to bust out. Satan is trying to bust out of here. But he can't. He's been trying since he's been kicked out of heaven. He's been trying to go back. That's why he's trying to keep us here. This is hell. We're living in hell. It may look like this, but we're living in hell. That's why it's not, when they say a pit of fire and all that, it's not what people think hell is. You're already living on it. This is where Satan is. This is the hell that he's living in. And the fallen angels are you guys. A lot of you. That came with him. And the angels on the outside, which I'm part of. I'm not going to say who I am anymore. Because a lot of you don't believe me. So I'm not even going to say it. I'm going to say I'm an angel that came from the outside. That volunteered to come here. I had to work it myself first. In order to... Wake you all up. Give you information. Because by you being who you are, knowledge will automatically come to your mind and you will automatically know these things. I didn't have to read to I didn't have to read the Bible to know that on the outside of this dome is heaven. I used to believe in a ball earth while I was reading this. So that should tell you something. I didn't get that information from this. I got it from myself. Because when I was speaking of the Bible a long time ago with my ex-wife at the time, I was speaking of the galaxies and stuff like that. Then I started to get into the flat earth because it made sense to me. But I never knew that heaven was on the outside of this earth until it hit me. It came to me on, on its own. This didn't tell me, and I've been reading this for a while, the same verse. Still didn't understand it, just like everybody else don't understand. And they read that part every time. Satan is tired of being on this earth. He's trying to escape. Just like somebody in jail that's in prison for life would try to escape. They are tired of being there. Just think about it. That's why Satan is trying to get the heck up out of here. He don't want y'all to know that your creator is on the outside of this dome. That that son that they worship is heaven itself.
this is the only prison part of heaven that got that was made for him basically for Satan this is Satan's prison Just think about that. Let this sink into your mind. Because it's the truth and y'all know it. The way I explained it to you. You keep watching the video over and over. The more it will make sense to you. Instead of you trying to come against what I say. Just understand what I'm saying. If you believe in this Bible. You believe in what I just said to you. If you don't believe what I just said to you, you don't believe this Bible. Just think about what I just said just now. If you don't believe in what I said, you don't believe in this. It's the truth. But these pastors and everything, they're not going to teach you the truth. They're going to teach you lies at the last. They're not going to read from the Bible the, the, the most important things that you need to know. They're going to just tell you things about their lives or someone else's life. Or, you know, random things that ain't got nothing to do with the Bible at all. They'll put a certain verse in there, but it's not important. The most important thing is from the beginning. Everything else is important in the Bible, but the beginning is the main important thing because if you all knew, if you all knew the truth from the beginning, what you lived on, and that you can easily get out of here, through there, that light is the portal to get to heaven. There may be other um, portals to get to heaven itself, but for right now, it's the sun. That's one way to get there. If you all knew what you lived on, you would not be here right now. You probably you you you'll all be trying to get the heck up out of here. If you knew heaven was on the outside of this earth, if the government one day finally tells y'all the truth, exactly what I said. That they announced one day an emergency broadcast transmission. This is not a test. And they tell y'all that we have lied to you guys for thousands of years. We feel bad for what we have done. So we're going to finally tell you all the truth. You all been reborn on this earth for thousands of years. Being reincarnated is the truth. We took a lot of things out of the, the most important things out of the Bible and gave you only so few of it so you can be lost. The truth is that you live inside of a dome. What the Bible says at the beginning of the, earth, the, the, beginning of, the uh, of Genesis is the truth. But you all misread or didn't read correctly. On that part. What it says in the beginning of the Bible is the truth on how this create this earth was created. But we tricked y'all or we lied to you, manipulated you into thinking that the earth is in space. Comments and asteroids everywhere. The earth gonna be destroyed one day. This and that. But we did nothing but lie. Your creator is on the outside of this earth. Your heaven that you're supposed to be free is on the outside of this earth. Your sun is not a ball of fire. It was animation from the computer. Just like the planets. Your sun is just light from heaven itself on the outside of this dome. That's why we lied about, like, just like when we told you guys there's a hole in the own zone there, we told you guys that years ago. We was talking about the sun. 
The sun has a small hole in it. When you look at the sun in the sky, what's the only hole or light you see in the sky that's small? And that's the sun, right? Well, that's the hole that we were talking about. That's the hole in the own zone there, in the dome. We have been trying to break free from this earth for so long. But we realize that we can escape here. But you all have a chance to escape. But they will never admit this. They will never tell you this. Because they want to keep you here with them. They want you to suffer with them. They want you to stay only in this part of heaven itself. They don't want y'all to be free, to open your mind and know the truth so y'all can be free. You see, when these celebrities and everything sell their soul, just think about this. You know, people sell their soul to the devil, right? And people thought that when you sell your soul to the devil, that you go to hell automatically. Well, that's not actually the case. The case is, just think about this. When you sell your soul to the devil, it says that basically, you know, um, you're giving your life to him. That you'll be in hell with him for all eternity. Because you gave your soul to him. For money or fame and fortune, material things, right? Why would people do that? You know, like I just said, fame and fortune, right? But people don't understand that when they do that, they're going to automatically come back to this earth over and over and over, over, over and over again. Because they gave their soul to Satan. Which means they are going to be here as long as he's going to be here. Suffering. Going through the same lives over and over and over and over and over again. They can never be free. That's why he wants everybody's soul. To give their soul to him. So you can stay here with him. Just think about it. Y'all know what I'm saying is true. A lot of you felt you've been here before. Because you have. But the difference is you haven't sold your soul to him. That's if you haven't done it in your past lives. If you didn't, that means you've just been bad in your past life. All you have to do in one of your lifetimes is be good. So let's say, for instance, someone kills somebody and they end up dying in their sin. They're going to be reborn again because of what they've done. They're going to have to learn from their past and be good. Once they awaken and realize that they need to be good, even though they don't remember their past, if they be good in one of their lifetimes all through, or at least try to be, they'll, they, they'll have a chance to make it out. Just think about this, man. That's why there's all this negativity things going on on this earth with money, these TV shows, these movies, video games, all this stuff to corrupt your mind with. It, that's why it's here to corrupt you so you can do bad things. That's the point of all this stuff being here in the first place. So you can do bad stuff. So you can keep coming back here. And do more bad stuff so you keep coming back. But the ones that's awakened, which is only so few that the Bible speaks of, is going to be free from this because they're going to awaken and realize that all this stuff is just... A bunch of bullcrap. They're going to realize it. They're the ones that's going to be free. That's why in heaven there's going to be only going to be so few people in heaven. With Jesus. That's why there's only going to be so few. Just think about what I'm saying people. That's why a lot of people are going to be left here. I ain't talking about no rapture. There's an event that's going to happen, or it could happen in a different way. Who knows? 
doesn't mean it has to happen at the same time that everybody's going to just disappear at the same time. Everybody's going to have their time and leave. Y'all know what I'm saying is true. Y'all know it. Y'all can feel it. It's the truth. You know, this is my, I believe this is my first time reading the Bible explaining the flat earth. So you all can wake up even more. Because you don't believe me, if you believe in the Bible, then this should change your mind. Because what I just said, the Bible said the same exact thing. But I explained it more clearer because the government changed a lot of stuff. They're not going to tell you that heaven is on the outside of this earth. Why do you think the dome itself is called heaven? Why do you think he called a dome heaven? It doesn't make any sense for him to call a dome, an object, heaven. It doesn't make any sense. He called it heaven because on the outside of where he is, is heaven. So he called a dome heaven. Just think about what I just said. It makes sense when you just listen and just think about it. Love you guys. Just think about what I said. I'm not lying to you. It's the truth. I just read from this Bible that you read. You go to church every Sunday. Think about what I just said. I love you all.